In a recent video, we actually compared the Pixel 8 to the iPhone 15. And if you haven't watched that yet, a card should pop up right now. Go check it out. But while doing that comparison, in the back of my mind, I was still wondering how does the Pixel 8 actually compare to the closest competitor in terms of Android compact flagships, the Galaxy S23. Is the camera setup on the Pixel 8 as good as the ones on the Galaxy S23 or better? That's exactly what we're gonna find out in this video. If you're here for the first time, I'm Ershad. You're watching Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. So let's start with the camera specs itself first. The Pixel 8 actually has a 50MP primary camera on the rear, a 12MP ultrawide, and on the front, you get a 10.5MP selfie camera as well. On the Galaxy S23 Ultra, on the other hand, you can see three rings, so there is a triple camera setup. So you get a 50MP primary camera, 10MP telephoto with 3x optical zoom, and a 12MP ultrawide angle camera on the rear. And you also get a 12 megapixel selfie camera on the front with autofocus capabilities. So specs wise, if you look at it, the Galaxy S23 actually has an advantage over the Pixel 8 for sure. But specs are not as important as the results themselves. So let's jump to the camera comparison between the two. So starting off with the primary camera details, in our first sample, we could see the Pixel retrieves more details. Take a look at the manhole cover right next to the lawn. In the second sample, whether it is the details on the grid lines of the solar panels to the right or the depth and definition of the leaves on the trees, Pixel is just way better. But what we noticed is that Pixel's 12.5 MP outputs offer natural details compared to the over-sharpened look of the Galaxy S23. But this artificial sharpening does come in handy when you capture 2x in-sensor crops from the phones. Pixel's image has soft details compared to Samsung's, which retains the details very well. Fun fact though, the Samsung Galaxy S23 actually actually didn't have 2x in-sensor crop at launch. It was recently added as an update to the camera assistant app and it's definitely helping because the 2x shots do look better than the Pixel 8. Now with respect to color reproduction with the primary camera, they clearly boosted on the Galaxy S23 to the extent that it looks extremely artificial. Now fixing these boosted reds, greens and blues in post to make it look natural is actually going to be a pain. So if you like Samsung's look which is kind of social media ready then it's fine but otherwise the Pixel is actually better. I'd actually recommend Pixel's color reproduction any day over you know Samsung's because Pixel comes close to recreating that natural look that can be made to look like Samsung image in post. As for HDR performance, Pixel reigns supreme once again. Not just color reproduction, even HDR performance is better on the Pixel 8. While the highlight control and brightness information is well captured on both phones, in shadow detail, Pixel is definitely better. You can clearly see that Pixel 8 pulls in more information from the shadows and it has far less noise too. Now, if you're clicking friends and family easily, the Pixel does a better job. Samsung's overexposed, over warm skin is a bit of an eyesore. Pixel also has the necessary contrast and detail to make the shot look more attractive. However, even the Pixel's real tone performance is not accurate for brown skin tones like we've evaluated before. Now, considering Pixel's HDR performance is better than Samsung, it helps when you are shooting people with a strong backlight as well. Pixel pulls out more information from the shadows and maintains the integrity of the scene pretty well. Samsung is not too bad here, but Pixel beats it fair and square. However, one reason why a lot of folks would prefer the Galaxy S23 is for the portrait shots. The artificial bokeh, the details on the face, the semantic segmentation, and most importantly, the fact that you can actually shoot with Samsung's 3X camera to punch in closer to get that perfect shot, made it my default pick over the Pixel. The Pixel 8 has improved a lot in portrait edge detection over the Pixel 7, but the competition is just better. All right, let's talk about low light shots now. Pixel's low light performance has definitely improved drastically from its predecessor. And you can tell that from this comparison sample where Pixel exposes the scene so much better to bring out more details from the darker portions of the image on the top. And the detailed retention and the highlight control is way better on the Pixel compared to Samsung, especially if you zoom in close to that Amar Business Zone sign. Now in the second sample set, Pixel 8's highlight control over the bulbs in the front is better. And you can actually read the menu items on the board inside the cafe, which you cannot on Samsung. So when it comes to low light photography, Pixel wins. Now moving on to ultra wide angle camera, Pixel again pulls in more details and offers sharper textures compared to the Galaxy S23. Color sense consistency with the primary camera is matched on both the phones, nothing to complain about really. These are flagship phones and that's one thing that wouldn't have been a problem anyway. But the Pixel can shoot macro using the ultra wide lens and this is possible because Pixel 8's ultra wide camera now comes with autofocus. 
Samsung cannot shoot macros, so Pixel is the way to go here. In low light ultra wide shots, the Pixel 8 captures more details and is a better camera overall. You can tell that from the pictures that we've shot here. Now, the one major advantage on the S23 is, of course, that 3x telephoto lens. You can fetch a lot of details in zoomed shots, and when you compare it side by side with 3x digital zoom crop on the Pixel 8, you can clearly tell the difference here. Plus, let's not forget the fact that Samsung's 3x also enables us to shoot better portrait shots. Now, moving on to selfies, whether it's the skin tones, overall color accuracy, or the details, the Samsung Galaxy S23 is way better than the Pixel 8. Pixel has a problem with the red skin tone here and that seems to be a concern in many selfies that we shot. HDR selfies too are better on the Samsung Galaxy S23 uh, with the algorithm maintaining the skin tones and balancing the highlights and shadows better. Selfie portraits with edge cutout, skin tone and details are better on the S23 as well. One of the advantages with the Galaxy S23 is that with the selfie camera you get autofocus but the Pixel 8 doesn't, unlike the ultra wide, which has autofocus. So there were so many times when we couldn't get a sharp focus with the Pixel, which we could manage with the Samsung every single time. This is clearly visible in the low light selfie shots where Samsung runs circles around the pixels. It's funny how a simple autofocus can make such huge of a difference. So overall, I feel that Google actually needs to improve the selfie camera or at least bring in autofocus next year to the regular model because they fixed that with the 8 Pro this year. Now, Samsung's Victory Labs continue with video recording as well where the company flexes its muscles. Firstly, both the phones can shoot 4K 60fps videos using all the lenses. So with the primary camera, the video processing is better on the S23. Pixel tends to darken the shadow region and struggles with removing the noise as well. Not only that, the audio quality is better on Samsung considering the higher bitrate audio recording. So this is the video sample shot using the primary lens of the Pixel 8 and the Samsung Galaxy. So this is the video sample shot using the primary lens of the Pixel 8 and the Samsung Galaxy. This also stays true when switching the lens to ultra wide. Pixel simply has more noise, where Samsung makes it look much cleaner and better. Now, what about selfie videos, you ask? Well, the story is still the same. Samsung simply shoots better videos. The same is true for all low light videos as well. Not that S23 or Pixel are shooting good low light videos, but then again, I mean, S23 is better than Pixel for sure. So overall, if you are planning on picking a camera between the two for video recording, I would suggest going with the S23 instead of the Pixel 8. Now, talking about camera modes, Samsung offers pro photo and pro video modes for manual controls, which is nice. And it also offers portrait video compared to cinematic blur on Pixel. And we preferred Samsung to Pixel over here. On Samsung, you also get the single take feature, which is an interesting camera mode, but something that I haven't used much. Samsung users, have you ever used single take uh, in real life? I'd love to know. On the Pixel 8, you can do long exposure, action pan, and panorama as well. But AI features is where the Pixel 8 stands out. Magic Editor is an upgraded version of the Magic Eraser that lets you move objects, change the sky, and of course, erase as well. Samsung can erase objects too, but Pixel does way more more than just that. However, it does take time to produce results. So that's something you have to keep in mind because it's using generative AI. You can also unblur faces on the Pixel 8 and there is this new audio eraser feature that lets you erase unwanted background noise as well, which works fairly well. Finally, you have the best take feature, which is fantastic because if you're taking a group of group shots or basically a series of group shots, and if somebody has an expression that they don't like, they can pick it up from another image and the transposition happens very, very well. With respect to the feature set on offer, I would prefer the Pixel over Samsung any day. All in all, both the phones have their own advantages and disadvantages when it comes to photography. And let me break it down for you. Actually, that'll be easier. So Pixel 8 actually excels at photo details using the primary camera. The HDR performance is better. The color reproduction is very good. And so is the low light performance. That's definitely better than the Samsung Galaxy S23. And the ultra wide angle camera with the autofocus actually performs better than the Samsung as well. More importantly, you also get these really cool AI features, which do uh, you know attract a lot of audience that I've seen. The Samsung Galaxy S23 on the other hand has a camera that feels a little more balanced overall because you do get a better telephoto, you do get better selfie performance and the video recording is better than the Pixel 8 as well. So overall, when you look at it, a lot of people might gravitate towards the Samsung Galaxy S23 for being a more complete camera setup. So which side are you on, Pixel or Samsung? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.